Hey, welcome to Grow, and we hope you're doing well today. Have you ever thought about all the promises that God offers us each and every day? Well, there is a lot of promises, but with those promises comes terms and conditions. Have you ever bought an insurance policy and then later on you found out, well, I didn't read all of the insurance policy, I just signed the document? Well, oftentimes Christians, they just read about the promises, but they don't read about the terms and conditions that God puts with those promises. What does it take? What's a term and condition that it would take to be called a child of God? Romans 10, 9 says this, If we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and we believe that God raised him from the dead, then we will be saved. The understanding here is that if we don't confess and believe, then we're not going to receive the salvation. There is a condition. Then we will be saved. How about Revelation chapter 3, verse 20? Christ is standing at the door and he's knocking. And then he says this, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to knock. If we open the door, he will come in and have a relationship with us. If we don't open that door, then he's not going to force his way in. There is a condition there. What about the promise that scripture gives us for forgiveness? In 1 John, it says, If we confess our sins, then God is faithful and just to forgive us of all our unrighteousness. And if you, for, and if you refuse to forgive others of their sins, then the Father is not going to forgive you of yours. There's another condition, two conditions. If you have to confess your sins to God, then He is faithful and just to forgive you. Condition number one. If you refuse to forgive somebody else of their sin, then guess what? He's going to refuse to forgive you of yours. There's a condition. How about continue in your relationship with the Lord? In John 15, 4, the word tells us this. If we remain in Christ, then he will remain in us. It's not talking about losing your salvation. It's talking about you will know those who are truly followers of Jesus Christ, not because you signed your name to some card at camp, not because you said a prayer one time. It's about those who are presently living for the Lord, and you will know them by their what? Fruits. And if, you, and if they're not following the Lord and are not remaining in Him, the Scriptures is clear, then we'll be like the branch that is thrown away and withers and eventually will burn up. Think about all the terms and conditions, and they're on and on and on. And lastly, Revelation chapter 3. The church of Sardis. God tells them to repent. And he says, if you do this, you will overcome. And they will be worthy and dressed in white and will have their names not blotted out of the book of life. The understanding again, that they have to repent in order to receive eternal life. You know what? What an amazing thing. We think about the promises of God. But with each of those promises is a term and there's a condition in order for God to fulfill. It's very important to understand this, that we draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to us. It is two coming together. It is not God doing all this work on this side and coming to you. You have to meet him in the middle. There are a condition to the promises of God. Hope you have a good day.